Hi, my name is Rayan Porte and I'm glad you're here. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about what I was really chasing after when I sought out dieting. This is part two in a month long series I'm doing entitled how to embrace the new year without dieting. If you haven't watched last week's video, I do recommend um, tuning into that first before this video. I talk all about why I thought dieting was the way to handle and manage food, but why it turned out to be a bust. And in future videos, I'll talk all about what the solution to dieting is. And I know you're probably thinking like, okay, Rand, gosh, can't you just talk about it? Why are you taking, why is it taking forever? Just tell me the solution and hang in there. Be encouraged. For me personally and my journey when God um, healed me of my food and fitness struggles, he really pressed on me the importance of understanding my struggle, what was behind it, what was really going on, how the devil was deceiving me, and then he revealed the gospel to me and he revealed how he is the solution. So I will get there and I will start talking all about that next week, but definitely Stay tuned into this video because God really has a lot to share. Okay, so let's dive in. In this video, I'm going to cover five things that I was chasing after when I was dieting. And these are all on like separate occasions. So number one, in the very beginning, in my late teens and early 20s, I was chasing after a life of happiness and I thought I could achieve it through dieting. And why was that? Well, of course, the devil through diet culture um, really wanted to, the devil was really attacking me to say, oh, you have to chase after this certain appearance, this certain body shape and size, and that's what's going to lead to happiness. You're not going to experience sadness or anger. No, once you can look like that, gosh, everything is going to be, you're always going to be happy in life, right? Well, <laughs> that turned out to fall short. Either I achieved that weight, but I was still so fearful that I wouldn't be able to ma maintain it. I wasn't happy or I actually was able to maintain it, but the happiness was so temporary and superficial. I constantly was still looking for compliments. I was constantly still just trying to do more and more things to get to this life of happiness. And so at the end of the day, what was I really searching for? I wasn't searching for a life of happiness. I was searching for the joy and contentment that can come only from God. Happiness is temporary and it comes from worldly things, but true joy and contentment comes from our relationship with Christ. And that's what I was really seeking after. So two, in another season, I was very similar season with dieting. I was chasing after a life of ease, similar to happiness. The devil lied to me and said, Oh, Brian, if you can achieve this certain appearance and this certain look, then your life is going to be so easy. You're not going to have any problems at all. All your problems are just going to go away because ugh, you're going to look like this and everything's just going to be great and perfect. Again, it fell short. And what was I really chasing after when I was chasing after a life of ease? I was chasing after the peace of Christ. I was chasing after a, in, an inner peace that no matter what my circumstances were, hard, easy, in plenty, in want, that I could find my fulfillment and I could find God as my sustainer. Third, in certain seasons, I was chasing after approval. Very similar to happiness and ease, the devil lied to me and said, oh, if you can look this certain way, you're gonna gain all the approval of your friends and your family, and it's gonna be so great. Well, what was I really chasing after? I was chasing after love, love, unconditional love that only God can give us. So. I really was chasing after the approval of Christ in him. We can find that through Jesus, we get to be in right standing with him. He created us. All we need to seek after in life is a relationship with him. Getting, gaining other people's approval is, again, always going to fall short and always going to be a dead end to fulfill us. Fourth, in certain seasons, 
I chased after dieting in response to habits of binge eating like behavior. So if I had overeaten the next day, I would go right back on my diet and I chased after this sense of desiring to be in right standing or this des- this sense of, oh, I just need to chase after um, serving out the punishment for the sins I committed yesterday. And what was I really looking after when this pattern developed? I was really looking for forgiveness. And that, again, is something that only God can give. Every time that I overate or that I binged, there was such an incredible amount of shame. And shame is from the devil. And shame is what keeps us hiding from Christ and not turning towards him. Of course, conviction, Christ convicts us. And that's when we get to welcome conviction because Christ is wooing us back to him. But that whole time he was wooing me back to me. He was convicting me, but it was so that he could shower me with his forgiveness, right? So I know many of you out there have probably like been on this diet binge cycle of like on track, off track eating. And any time that we just are knee deep in food, it seems almost innate in us that we have this drive to want to get back into right standing. When really God, the whole time he says, I offer you my forgiveness. You get to accept my gift of grace. We don't live under the law. We get to live under grace. And that's how I'll teach you how to eat and do fitness from now on. So the fifth and final thing Um, that I was chasing after was a life of health. And to be honest, there were really good intentions behind this desire. I knew that I, I knew that living, chasing after a certain body shape or size wasn't, you know, wasn't the way to go anymore. But I just thought that trying to be healthy was how to do food. I didn't understand that there was freedom in Christ when it came to food. I thought that I still had to strive for perfection and control in my food because that was just the way that how I was supposed to do food. I shouldn't eat these foods and I should eat these foods. Well, what was I really going after? What was I really chasing after? Well, I was chasing after the gift instead of the giver. And this is what will transition me into what I'll talk about next is in all of these things, the bottom line is that God was always the thing that I was chasing after because God is always the only thing that can fulfill us. And so with all of these things, what was really at the root of all of them was this sense of control that I wanted to, I thought that the way to do life was to control it all because I knew that, of course, being out of control with everything in my life wasn't the way to go, of course. And so then I must have to control everything. Well, when we look at life like that, we fall short to see that when we put our trust and hope in God, he gets to like ease that burden that we put on ourselves because he is the one that takes care of us. And so underneath the sense of needing control was really just fear. And all of those five things that I shared, that what the devil was using when rubber meets the road at the, the bottom line of it all was fear. And what is the opposite of fear? It's trusting God. And so the last thing I will leave you with in this video to recap is when we look at food, fitness, and even health, we get to look at these things as gifts from God. They aren't our God because they will always fall short to fulfill us in the way that only God can. Even health as good as it is it is a good gift from god but when we're chasing after health instead of chasing after god it will let us down our bodies are growing old our bodies will eventually fail us we are gonna get a new body when we get to heaven which is so amazing and so when we obsess about our health it's there's fear underneath there too. We're not putting our trust in God. I think so often we talk about 
people talk about, well, trust your body, trust your body. No, we get to trust God with our bodies. There's like a definite difference there. Our trust is always pointed to Christ because he is trustworthy. He is our creator. He is our comfort. He is our hope. He is our joy. He, we, he is our sustainer. He is everything in life to us. So that's why it's, um, we get to ask God how to um, approach this gift that he's given us. And what he, what he responded to me with was, Rian, when you see health and food and fitness as gifts, it helps you not, it helps me not overvalue them or undervalue them. So what do I mean by that? Well, I never want to undervalue health. It's not that we shouldn't, because we're not chasing after health, we can just give it up and not care about it at all and just do whatever with our health and be apathetic about it. Like that's not the solution. We should not undervalue the gift, but we don't need to overvalue the gift either. We don't need to, again, chase after the gift as if it were the God. And so that's such a beautiful thing that God revealed to me is that when he is the source of my fulfillment, I get to look at these things as gifts and he is the one who helps teach me how to take care of the gift that he's given me without obsessing about it and without putting it on a pedestal. The, the connection is always with Christ, not with the gift. We're always communicating day in and day out daily with God. We're talking to him, we're listening to him about his, you know, he's telling us about who he is and who we are in him and how our identity is in him. And he's also telling us how we get to take care of these amazing gifts that he's given us. And so in closing, one of the cool things that he showed me is that when we see food, fitness, and health as gifts, it helps us to be grateful to him for them and also trust him with them. So That is all I have for you today in this video. I hope that you have found this helpful. I hope that maybe perhaps it might have shed light um, on some of the things that were going on with you in your life and in your journey about why, what was at the root of dieting in your life after all. And next week, I will be talking all about what the solution to dieting is. And the week after, I'll be talking about how to actually implement that in your life, especially when we are so used to living off of a diet and living off of a piece of paper telling us how to eat and all of that. So on Instagram, my handle is at food.fitness.andthegospel. Follow me there for more encouragement or send me a DM. I would love to hear from you about your journey. I will see you right back here next week. Have a good one.